Okay, so we will do a few videos in this kind of mini series since we're in the winter season now. And in uh, these series of videos, I will test one uh, heater each. And I'm talking about these portable heaters. Going through a quick overview for each of what they have, what they don't know that. We'll leave them running for one hour in this room. This room is fairly small. Is around roughly 120 to 140 to 130 square feet. And that should be easy to heat up with most of the uh, small heaters. But that is what we're going to try to prove or disprove on this on these uh, series of videos. And the first one today will be a Vornado fan style tower heater. Is this one right here? Let me check the model if we can find it. And the model of this one is Vornado TH20. And as you see right here under, the uh, rating is at 120 volts, at 1500 watts, and obviously 60 hertz, which that's how we work here in North America. I will be connecting them to, a, to an extension cord, but you are absolutely not suggested to connect heaters or portable ACs on extension cords. This cord is actually made for heavier equipment. I will try to leave a link down below for this and mostly heaters as well if I can find them. Even measuring devices, if you guys need to replicate or get exactly what I have, I unfortunately cannot talk or disclose any pricing because those always fluctuate. So in these series of videos, I will not talk about prices. Now this Vornado has a few buttons here, the switch on and off, the heat uh power itself and the fan power so here you have the high fan here you have the low fan here you have the higher intense heat middle and uh lower and middle intensity of the heat and here's where you would kind of set the temperature so it goes to that temperature that you set it up here i find it ex not exactly that usable for my practice for my particular use but for other people, I heard that it actually worked really good and, well, to each their own sometimes, I guess. The measurements will be taken first with a watt meter or what we call kilowatt meter right here. Let me just plug it to show you that it's actually functional and it will be put in watt mode and the kilowatts will be measured at the end of the video on how much it took in one hour, full blown and how low did it drop the temperature? So this will measure the temperature on my desk. My desk is approximately, I would say six to eight feet from here, from where the heater will be pointed. And the heater will be pointed to go across the room diagonal. There is no other heat or cool on this room. The uh, AC vents on the ceiling are closed to maintain the heat inside the room so we know heat rises and I will prevent that by closing the vents and I will leave here on this desk right across this heater this uh, thermometer. This is for outside, outdo outdoors and indoors. This is the temperature outside and this is the temperature inside the top is inside so as you see they're both 64 inside we'll see at the end of the video in case you don't see this one it's 65 now because it's 64.9 which makes it 65 and we will see you in an hour let me just set the timer here and as you see this is gonna be our timer we will plug it and start it when the timer goes in. When the plug goes in, sorry. Okay. We will crank it on maximum as I uh, stated. We'll be on three. High fan. Crank on the highest here. And turn it on. And I'm not sure if you can hear this uh, blow, but it's blowing. It's blowing kind of hot right now. Let me start the timer. And the timer is good. This is going to be our measuring here right in front of the fan or tower fan slash heater. Let me just take this a little bit away so it doesn't heat the cable itself. And I will take this other thermometer with me to my desk. Yes, this is for my central unit, but you can take it from the wall so it does not interfere with anything else. And the settings are on off as you see right here. So nothing will interfere with it. And with that said, we'll see you in an hour and see the results of this uh, tower fan from Vornado.
Okay, so it's roughly 63 minutes. Uh, let's call it an hour. It went 74 inside. I don't know if you can see this. Yep, it went 74. So I would say one degree. The difference, it's off. Right now, turn it off. And it spent in total 1.33 uh, kilowatts. So 1300 watts, a little bit less than the 1500 watts that's supposed to take for an hour, but those measurements are not always extremely accurate. And the timer is one hour. So what do I think about it? It's not bad, especially if you are closer to it. For example, in a small room, if you point it towards you, I would say it's a really good one. Now, the other modes are lower, uh, heat but there as well lower uh consumption on energy it's not the worst unit there are more uh better units out there but as per a small tiny unit i think this is really nice it's uh around 20 inches tall and the widest part of it is around six and a half inches it's it's quite a good unit because when you're closer to it yeah it throws that air with a fan in a really nice way it makes that low noise but not really that bad and i would say it's it's quite a good unit if you get one of these for your small office or near the bed before you sleep if you're in a cold house or something and you want to just see things quicker just make sure you don't put it too close to any clothing or don't block the back part of it where the air goes uh, in and make sure don't put it on any extension cord unless you buy one of these that are made for heavier equipment that can endure that 15 amps and yes it must be on a 15 amp breaker it cannot be on a breaker that's lower or if you put two of these on the same 15 amp breaker the chances are that breaker will, will flip down because of course they're gonna draw close to 30 amps then when you put two of them other than that i think it's quite a good unit and uh, we'll see you next time with a different unit on this mini series of uh, heaters or what do we, we would call them portable electric heaters. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something out of it and we will see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Bye.